This is a recording that I've done a couple of days after the recording that you were going to see on the inside of the house. And what we intend to do is actually to show you the progress for the house itself after framers have uh, departed. You'll see on subsequent uh, videos that there's been some strapping that added to the outside of the, the, the garage and in, inside all of the framing for the entire house is complete. Um, so you'll see that in the rest of this video and I'll allow you to move over to that at this point in time. Continuation now that we're into the house. Um, so this is the garage. The cold room has been framed in, so you can see the size that that's going to be. Got a door. There's our ladder too. And it's still allowing for eight inches for the thermal wall. And we'll go right up to the ceiling. I think it'll be a nice space. Yeah. So we'll put one of our freezers in there. <clears throat> okay, it's going to get kind of dark. Maybe we can find some lights. Uh, there's lights going upstairs, so the upstairs the will be... Put in that stack no, that stack was already there. Oh. And there's... These are all drain stretch. So drain here. There's the main stack here in the corner. This orange one. So I don't know how much can be seen. There's where the uh, toilet's going to be uh, roughed in. There's another drain there. And this drain, I think, is for the main area. So you can see it's become really, really dark in the utility room because it's been uh, boarded through. Uh, there's all uh, plywood on the walls of the utility room. So we can start putting in panels, the electrical panels, and the other equipment from plumbing and from solar. had a meeting yesterday about solar and I'll share some of those details in the next video about uh, our plans there. Uh, nothing much has changed here other than the floor has been swept and the framing for the rest of the material has been completed. Alright, let's go upstairs. The finished stairs are underneath. Uh, they've got uh, covering over top of them to make sure that they don't get dirty while well, there's still construction going on in here. And then we have the major area. So nothing much has happened here again uh, other than things have been cleaned up. And uh, you see basically the final walls that are going to actually comprise our living space. So just to lay things out for you, if you uh, haven't taken a look at the drawings lately, the area that I'm standing essentially is where our dining room table will be, a bench along the, the knee wall, knee wall uh, that's here. There'll be lighting suspended from the ceiling. And uh, this is going to be a sliding door exit to the uh, the deck on the top of the garage. Um, in this area, you'll actually find a um, pellet stove that we'll use for auxiliary heating and for ambiance, etc. Our television, so it's just a, a large screen monitor running from a computer system, um, is going to be placed here in this area, and couch and chairs, etc. Uh, around. Um, then we come across this area here. You'll see a large island uh, that's going to be placed in this area. And then the main kitchen is on this side of the island, facing out to the living space. And the uh, uh, coffee bar is going to be in the corner with a little sink. And then the stove is where it says stove. Um, this space beside the window is uh, going to be the fridge, refrigerator in a box uh, that's uh, built around it. And the R stands for the range hood. Uh, and uh, uh, it will extend up and will exhaust out uh, through the gable end there uh, 
rather than through the wind, uh, through the ceiling. Hopefully we have no perforations to the actual uh, ceiling itself. Even the heat recovery, uh, energy recovery um, system, EVR, ERV, um, is going to be going out through the, uh, the gable ends. I'm not sure if it's this end or if it's that end. Um, it's a fully ducted system, uh, but uh, almost all of it will be tucked out of the way inside the rafters, uh, in, inside of the insulation, so you won't see any of it at all. Uh, Trisha is working on measurements for the, um, the tiling for the shower. The shower will be in this area, and where she's leaning on the knee wall, that will be uh, glazed in glass, and then a piece of glass coming down beside it, probably another six or eight inches or so, leaving us with an open space, and there will be not, not be any uh, doorway, so we don't have to worry about uh, a glass door swinging or anything else along those lines. Uh, vanity, one sink vanity will be here, and then behind a pocket door, so the framing for the pocket door is just as it was uh, last time, um, enters into the water closet, uh, toilet will be there, and there will be a uh, heated towel rack uh, on this wall, um, which is uh, a, a nice uh, accessory to have. Um, we experience them quite frequently in Europe, and uh, we wanted to have one here as well. So this is the guest bedroom. And uh, you can see that a wall has been built. Oh, okay. So now you'll see that the entire wall is going to be in one section because they've, they've put in additional um, studding to the section that backs onto the ICF. See, Trish, this is how they've just uh, drilled directly or they screwed directly into the plastic um, uh, uprights inside the ICF itself. They're probably using the three inch decking screws there. And the only reason that they did this here is to make it neat going around the corner here. So they'll probably put an extra layer of something, uh, um, plywood or something along those lines here just to make it flush and you'll end up with one seamless section. And then the master bedroom. Uh, no major changes here again. Um, I think the decision has been made to put the uh, baseboard heater uh, down there, but uh, I haven't heard the latest about that. And here you can see the additional walking space out onto the deck from, again, another sliding door in our master bat bedroom to the garage. So Trisha's is just trying to get measurements for the amount of tiling that we need and we'll be putting um, underfloor heating in this section as well. Oh, this is probably where the end of the glass wall is going to be at. Is that yeah. okay there? Yeah. And then 27 inches to the ash wall I'm just going to measure the shower area in case I want a different tile for the shower. I think that's 47. Nope, a little less. Well, it depends where you want it. So let's say 48. More. Pantry has not changed significantly. I'm just going to give you a, a view of what it's going to be like. Two 
to be up in this pantry area above the pantry where his grandchildren have a little nook for themselves. There's the window there. And you can see the space. It's not huge. Uh, probably about six feet by uh, maybe five feet or so. Um, and then it goes up to the cathedral ceiling just as it does in the rest of the uh, uh, main, main area here. Looks nice. A nice little doorway so we can get in there. So we're going to have to figure out some kind of a, a ladder system so that they can climb up and get in. And I pointed out the celestial windows the last time I was in here. So that one and the other one on the other end will open uh, to the outside to allow for... Uh, yeah, well, somehow. Uh, maybe a really long pole that we have to think about where is it going to hang then. Well, it could actually well, hang it, it right in the corner. It could be a, it could be a thing that you... Extendable, yeah. yeah. Anyways, the other two uh, will not be uh, openable, uh, but they'll still let uh, additional light in. So I think we'll get uh, lots of light in here. Um, so we'll have those four windows. The, uh, the window there above the sliding door. We've got the two windows in the corner, this large window in the front of the kitchen, and then the two windows in the, uh, uh, in the kitchen area itself. We won't be getting any light from that section because that'll be closed in. It's looking good. Mm -hmm. I like. So tomorrow we hope to get uh, plumbing and uh, wiring rough in started. Uh, plumber was supposed to actually be here today, maybe showing up this afternoon. Um, but there won't be a lot of plumbing because um, we only have the two sinks here in the, uh, in the kitchen area. And then we've got the, oh, and the dishwasher. Um, and then we've got the, uh, the shower and the sink here in the bathroom. And that's it for plumbing. So with the refrigerator, do they have to have oh, a yeah. line there too? They'll need a line there as well. Because we've got yep. an outside water. So an extra line coming up, but uh, that shouldn't require any drain or anything. And then on this floor, the only water that we actually have is uh, the water coming into the house in this room. So there's a line coming from the well and uh, it'll go to um, a pressure pump or a pressure tank and there will be a uh, on-demand hot water heater in here, no tank, and uh, we'll have water to the sink and to the toilet here. And washer and dryer. And a washer and, and dryer a sink. and a sink in uh, the, the laundry room as well. But that's it for, for water. Um, there's a couple of taps to the outside that we've specified as well, but uh, not a lot of plumbing. And the electrical should be going, should go quite quickly as well, except that it's going to be complicated with the, uh, the solar, uh, solar array that we're putting on the, the south roof here as well. Anyways, I think that wraps it up for our uh, progress for this week, and we'll talk to you soon.